What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Check out the high tide. It's crazy. I'm here in Stewart, Florida at Sandsprit Park and I'm going spear fishing. Kelly Young and I have been going hard the last two days. Spear fishing, fishing, like that old saying goes, when the sun's shining make hay. Well guess what? We got great weather, bad weather coming, so I'm going spear fishing. Got my blackjack, got my tundra. I'm about to put the boat in the water by myself and go spear fishing for just a little bit and I'm taking y'all along with me. Anytime you're at the boat ramp, try to unload stuff and get it out of the way as fast as possible. What happened to the boat ramp? The boat's getting away. See how I did that? No big deal. Easy peasy. So I'm about to show you one of the biggest advantages of power poles. You guys hear me talk about them all the time? Well, there's a reason for it. I'm by myself, don't have any dock ropes, so I can't tie up to the dock, but watch this. Now watch this. I can now go park my truck and I don't have to worry about my boat going anywhere. How crazy is this high tide though? I'm so excited right now. Kelly made me a happy coffee this morning. We're ready to rip. When I left the house this morning, the sun was shining. Look ahead of me. Yep. But guess what? I don't even care because the water's clear and I'm getting in the water anyway, so it doesn't bother me getting wet. Leave a comment below if it'd be a dream of yours to own a boat like that. I know I would love to. Time to get my gear on. A lot of y'all wonder what type of gear I use. I use Cressy Fins, 2000 horsepower, but that actually says HF. I don't know what that stands for, but I'm gonna go with horsepower, 2000 horsepower. My mask is one of these Barracuda masks with GoPros on top. I don't really like using my GoPro up there, but it gives you all a different angle. So I'm gonna have one on my head and one on my hand. Anytime you get your mask out, give it a big old spit. Wash it around like that. Get the rest of your gear ready, then get in the water and wrench it off. My gun I'm using is just a little old Rob Allen roller gun. Now let's get in the water. All right, I only have about 30 minutes of clear water, I'm guessing with the tide. So I'm gonna get in and make the best of it as quick as I can. Spit my mask one more time. Wrench it out. Put it on. Turn my GoPro and my head on. Get my spear gun and take y'all along with me. Let's go. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere.
decided to change weapons. All right. I need a glove. All right, once I got in, I realized I didn't need the spear gun. All I needed was this little three-prong pole spear, but I needed a glove, so I shot two, got in the boat, put them on ice, now I got the glove. We're doing work in a hurry. The reason I went with this pole spear, it's a lot more of a challenge. But you gotta really try to keep them on that shaft because those little barbs don't do very much. The storm's coming, we got about five more minutes, let's shoot some more. Y'all see how my Danko net just floats? It can second for holding live shrimp, dead fish that you speared. It's a multitasker.
Meu amor! Eita! That looks like Kelly's gar. Y'all remember Kelly's giant gar? It looks a little like this. Let me just tell you what just happened. I just saw one of the biggest snappers I've ever seen in the water. I get gear back up, get my gun, go to get him, and a stupid bull shark just swims up out of nowhere. What a disaster. Luckily, I have all my sheep's head I need, so I'm gonna get in the boat and call it a loss for right now, but it's actually a win because we got a lemon of sheep's head. All right, you guys, I came here on a mission by myself. I got a tree holding my camera right now. I've got my lemon of sheep's head with a little pole spear. I actually just saw a really, really big fish that I really wanted to shoot. The next dive down, a shark swam up on me right here in this shallow water. But we got a big storm rolling in. I need to get these fish all on ice, get back to my house so we can cook an awesome lunch. You guys, thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel, for checking out Kelly Young's channel and subscribing to that, for following my brother Deer Meat for dinner. I couldn't live this life without you. I woke up this morning, wanted to go spear fishing, wanted to use a pole spear, got in, shot my limit, now I'm headed back to the house in less than one hour. If you want to do something, if you dream about doing something, get up and do it. That's the only way it's going to happen. Hey, I'll see y'all back at my house in Stewart, Florida. All right, so I just got home. Kelly decided to stay home and edit. Let's go in here and give her a hard time real quick. And my buddy, Fun Fish Owl's here. You missed a good spear fishing session to sit here on that chair. Yeah. This is a gamer's chair. What do you got going on with this chair? <laughs> oh my That's God. my, my, I got a my, geek. my <laughs> gaming chair. Hey, hey, just wait till you see the footage on this camera. I'm excited. All right, y'all, we're not at my house. We're at Deer Meat for Dinner's house, my brother. Sarah, his wife, and Kelly, my girlfriend, are at Bass Pro, so I can get away with bringing the fish in and throwing them in the sink. But really quick, I want to take a second and show you why we're here. Come on. So, most of y'all already know that Robert, Deer Meat for Dinner, is my brother, and we were just here filming this awesome new series he's doing. What in the world? Hello. What are we doing? Doing a little graphic work right now. <laughs> so anyhow, Robert's starting a podcast 
series of videos where we sit here and we answer questions and we tell stories and we do all kinds of awesome stuff. And we just finished his second one ever and it's just Robert and I sitting here on Instagram and on YouTube answering questions. Robert's editing now and it'll be up today. You hope so. Are you going to be done? Do you need me to sit down and help you edit? Right now. Um, these computers seem to have a mind of their own sometimes, so we shall see is all I'm about to tell you. Alright, so I'm going to tell you all a quick story about Robert's get up. We were in Mim, Florida making a shrimping video and I had Hunter Hansen, a little cool kid from Jupiter that fishes a lot. And it's late at night and we're sitting on the dock and we're gathering up our stuff and Robert come walking down the dock in that get up. Hunter might not admit it to this day, but Hunter saw him coming and Hunter's like, just stands right behind me and Robert don't have no shirt on, he has his get up on. Hunter's like, bro, I don't know who this guy is. And we played it off and it was hilarious. But anyhow, I'm gonna cook lunch today for Robert and Austin who's behind the camera. All right, there's the one in the thumbnail, a one in a million. Check that out. That's no Photoshop, that's no nothing. That's just what he looked like. But unfortunately for him, that was his last day. Now let's clean him. Sheep's head can be a little bit difficult because they're scales and bony. Come in just like that. I always angle my knife in, just like that. Once I get that, I'll come back to the back end. Get near the end and poke it and go all the way through. And like I said, fortunately for me, Sarah is at Bass Pro or she'd be yelling at me right now. Go over the rib bone. Cut through. Sheep's head does have really beautiful meat. Like you see me do in every video, I leave just a little bit behind so I can put my fingers on it. Just start pushing and pulling. Just like that. They do have a little bit of a bloodline, so I'll flip it over. Cut it just like that. Now I could have cooked this at home, but Robert was nice enough to include me in his video. So I'm here and I'm gonna cook him lunch. More like a brunch, more like a brunch. He's done a bunch of sheep's head videos on his channel too. He likes to cook with all kinds of fancy stuff. I'm a little bit more plain and simple. You got something you want to say while I'm in here working? Yes, I do. I would like to know why you have my cousin up in my sink right here, son. We are familia. I'm what sorry, son. Look like? I'm sorry, boy. It just wasn't your day, was it? All right, don't you have some work to do in there? I'm done. We're ready to eat. Are you hungry? Yes, sir. Showing up. All right, you guys, we're ready to cook. I flayed two, put the rest back on ice, and we're gonna cook them tonight. Got some just Lowry's garlic salt. A Little bit of the, since we're at Deer Meat's house, Everglades fish and chicken, right there. I'm gonna season it pretty heavy because I'm only doing one side. Got some Bisquick pancake mix. Just roll it around. Make a quick and easy sheep's head sandwich. I know one thing I can talk about myself for sure, and I know Robert's the same. When we get to editing, it's so time consuming you forget to eat. What's really changed my life is Kelly Young because she's a health nut, but she also really loves food. So when I'm working, she always makes sure she makes me something nice and I really appreciate that. And just the same when she's working, I try to make her something nice. All right, here goes nothing. Sheep's head is just pretty much like snapper or any other white flaky meat. As long as you cook it fresh, it's really good. Cook that for probably, I don't know, two minutes on each side till it's golden brown. But can y'all smell that? Golly, it smells good. It smells like the ocean, smells like sheep's head, a little bit of peanut oil and some Everglades fish and chicken. All right, it's been cooking for about a minute and a half. 
Anytime I have a fillet of fish like this and I'm frying it, you have the shoulder piece and then the belly piece. I try to disconnect them because they're not going to cook the same. The belly piece is a lot thinner and the shoulder piece is a lot thicker. Which means these two little pieces will finish faster and I don't want to overcook them while we're waiting on the shoulder. Alright, toast is ready. Fish is done. Plain and simple. Got a little bit of this stuff right here. I've already tasted it. I know it's going to be amazing on this sandwich. Spoon it on there like so. A little bit on the other side. Look at that fish though. That Bisquick batter came out so nice. Super easy, super fun, super fresh. I made one for Robert and one for Austin because both of them have been working hard all day. Let's go. Actually, you give me the camera. Yeah, what are you talking about? What you talking about, old son? <laughs> Hold on. Take Robert his and y'all try them together. One of them's hotter than the other now. God, Austin's acting hungry. He done left out with the food. Hey, Ron Jarrington. Que paso? He left. He's uh, He headed out to the ranch. Let me see what we got here. My mom's hot now. I'm hungry though, bro. Y'all wanna know something funny? My favorite fish sandwich in the world is a McDonald's fish sandwich. Dude, <laughs> it says. Hold on a second. Kelly Young, did you just hear what he said? Dude, that's my favorite fish sandwich of all time. I actually brought one for Robert for lunch yesterday and I had one. Very good. Mm. Robert got the hot one. Mm -hmm. Mine's equally as hot. <laughs> Very good. I like the toasted bread on it. And although I like the flavor of a, of a McDonald's fish sandwich, there's nothing like fresh fish that you know where it came from and it's delivered to you when you're in your office. I'm uh, about 17 minutes out and we'll be uploading that podcast. What do you think, Oz? I like that sauce. Actually, I think I'll put more on it next time. It's mm good. -hmm. It's that cilantro, uh, what was it, cilantro avocado? I don't know, it was something in yeah. that shelf. Yeah. Did you taste that unique sauce? I love it. That is awesome. Thank you. Very good. All right, y'all make sure you check out this podcast. I'll have it in the link below this video, and plus you probably already you know, sub to Robert, so hopefully you get the notification. It's what you guys have been asking for. You ask questions, we answer them, we talk, we tell stories, and it was just all around fun. But for right now, we're done. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for supporting me and my brother. Thanks for everything y'all do. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See ya.